Hello, welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Tamiya's brand new tooled 135th scale Archer. This is the British self-propelled anti-tank gun. Been waiting for this kit to come in uh, for actually quite a while. There seemed to be a little bit of a delay for it coming in, but it's here now in all its glory. So, usual sort of Tamiya box art on the front, as we can see. We've got a few crew figures down in there as well. Okay, as we said, this is a brand new tooled gun. You can see uh, a little bit about it. So obviously the Archer um, was uh, basically designed uh, as a little bit of a, a sort of uh, a niche market to, to get an anti-tank gun mobilized to keep up uh, with sort of German advances and things like that. So as you can see, a little bit of a strange design, looks quite a lightweight one. A um, couple of markings down in there, so we've got one from 1945 down on there. Running around on the box, usual things, we've got your item number for this one is 356. Okay, and then obviously another one down in there. This one is from the Polish Second Corps, Italy, 1945 as well. So there's a nice one down there and a nice little black and white photo of it in action as well. Okay, so in the box, Tamiya's standard way of doing things. If we can get that to stand up. With the help of a little bit of weight. There we go. So if we have a quick look in the instructions first. We've got that standard sort of pull out sheet uh, which talks about obviously various components as we can see down on there so you've actually got the areas for it so we've got the air inlets uh, the 17 pound gun uh, obviously the 17 pounder is a the weight of the shell it actually fires okay it's a weird British thing that we tend to do but that's what we call them okay so we've got the exhaust uh, out the front as you can see it's actually engine forward system smoke discharger system out the front as well and then obviously some of the more parts down on there as we can see, okay? And then a little bit more information and I should think there'd be a nice bit of blurb all about the actual tank in English as well as obviously different nations if you wanna find out some more about it. So we've actually got the instruction sheet itself. Okay, so having a general walkthrough, usual thing, how to actually build a model down in there like that and then down into there so a couple of different versions you've got a and b versions for it so we said before you've got the uh, second anti-tank regiment third canadian infantry division uh northwest europe early 1945 or the b version which is going to be the seventh anti-tank regiment polish uh second corps italy early 1945 as well okay so we've got those types down in there so down in both hole usual thing one piece lower hull and then obviously got the floor pan going in there then we've got the driver's compartment with some of his uh, very various parts down in there as you can see like that so you've got some nice sidewall details going down in there onto the seat we've got an instrument panel being fitted down in there it looks very straightforward very very clean okay then we've got the rear hull uh, bulkheads going in down the back there and then obviously we've got the side plates going in making up the entire lower section framework okay shell racks very nicely done as well nicely detailed putting all of those in just down behind the actual driver's position Okay, and then working along, obviously more details going through. Then we're working actually into the actual running gear of the tracks, and then obviously we got down in here for the actual uh, bogey systems. Then we got the road wheels being fitted down in there, and then obviously added, bringing up the actual entire dry train system underneath. And then the tracks. So it looks like we have uh, plated tracks and then individuals not the best way and hopefully they're going to be somewhat of a nice fit as they all go together okay talking about obviously the amount of tension and sag uh, as you can see just down in here giving you a bit of a guide to how it should look and then exactly the same for the other side as you might imagine over here on the top obviously we've got the top half of the plate uh, of the actual hole being married up to the lower part and then obviously with a fighting compartment down in there as well and then adding all the grills and the vents and the various parts as you might imagine right the way through to the actual vehicle itself and we've got a couple of weapons going down in place as well then over to the other side we're actually working on to the actual main gun for the elevation and all the mechanics down in there as you might imagine plenty of that bit fitted in some nice uh, details down in here saying how this actually clicks into position as well so that's quite a nice touch and then working on the traverse uh, to see how that's going to go and it does it actually fits into a ball and socket system you can just about see down here at the bottom okay and then usual thing working out more stowage items bins uh, fuel cans various things and then the shells themselves being fitted down uh, down into there so we've got a little bit of color call outs for those of x12 and uh, xf1 okay continuing the theme as you might imagine with all the stowage items and the various things you're always going to find inside a tank going right the way through there completely right down to a bren gun uh, down in there sorry sten 
actually it looks like a stain gun down there and uh, right the way through so plating going onto the sides of it and then again more details uh, and more parts going up there so we've got the driver's hatch down here at the front looks like we've got a couple of periscopes up here as well uh, for the actual driver's compartment okay and then the stowage bins onto the side and exhaust systems as you can imagine pretty slight standard stuff headlights towing eyes things like that being fitted in there and then we've actually got the actual breech for the gun being fitted down in there as well some nice details going in there a couple of poly caps as well to make it fully posable uh, and things like that and then obviously fitting all those items in last minute parts being fitted onto those as you can imagine so we've got these smoke dischargers down here at the front being fitted on there a couple of grappling handles as well and then more of the actual uh, front shroud for the gun because um, obviously this thing uh, you assume then reverses up to for its firing position and goes around that way okay so again he's driving forward uh, and this is the back but actually the the pointy end if you like the the gun end is facing backwards okay so towing eyes obviously the gun barrel itself look we'll take a close look at that to see if it is a one piece looks like it is which is nice to touch towing ropes things like that being fitted down onto those as well and then as we said we do get a couple of figures down in there so we've actually got a loader we've got a commander and we've actually got the gunner as well being fitted down in there and quite nicely shows you the actual positions and how they're going to fit in amongst all of this as well some nice detailed uh, information down here about painting uh, and deckling the actual shells themselves so that's another nice touch and then we've got some very basic as you can imagine uh, markings down on there so as you said down there that's for the canadian one and then we've got the polish one over here on the back as well so again looks really very very nice indeed so down into the sprues let's do the meaty one first so nice for us these are in nice easy open up bags okay so you're greeted with tamiya's standard uh type plastic as you might imagine right the way over this very clean very sharp no problems at all with that no sign of flash we've got no real burring on the sprues as well so it's nice clean molded uh, as you can see and again the details are very sharp which is nice again it's crisp sharp molding so if we have a look around in here we've got the front uh, of the actual gun itself for the shroud and then we've got the side plating down on there like that and then we work our way across obviously we've got the lower hole the underside of it again we've got little uh, hatches escape hatches things like that you would think underneath there the grill system up there again the bolting detail is absolutely beautifully done very very nice very sharp on all of these parts uh, as you make your way around so we've actually got the actual sides again very sharp bolts which is actually really nice a good sign of good crisp molding right the way through and then over here we've actually got the top part of the hull itself okay so as you can see very very nicely done right the way down to the grill work down here at the back nicely done all of those and then on the flip side you can see there's no details to the inside but we've got a couple of points for mounting various things all the ejector pins very nice flush um, or slightly raised but totally out of the way but i don't think anyone's going to see any of those so again very nicely done then we've got in the second bag we've got a little bit of clear work we've got the figures actually on here and everything else so we'll have a look at that in the moment so on Spruce C, as you can see, pretty much loaded up with all the figures and the various items down in there like that. So as you can see, working your way around. Some nice details uh, for the actual driver's compartment area, as you can see. Body parts, actually some nice sharp details on the actual trousers and on the legs and things like that, as you can see, and on the jackets. So it's going to pick up washes and painting very, very nicely. Got the actual bins uh, for the shell racks, things like that down in there. We've got a couple of holsters, helmets, things like those. Usual bits and pieces. And then down on the other side, we've got the stowage bin items, exhausts things like that coming along here and then as you can see working your way across very very nice indeed no problem with any of that and then obviously the floor section with the driver's seat nicely done all of those areas no problem with that at all again on the back side flush clean the ejector pins looking a lot nicer a lot more in situ very flush no problem with that at all okay then we've got the gun itself so on the sprue d as you can see it here looking very very nice indeed and then if we 
close in. You can see we've got the gun, breach area, things like that. But again, we've got things like fire extinguishers, various stowage items, as you might imagine. The gun breach itself looking very, very nicely molded. And the mechanics and everything down here at the back looking very nice. It is a one-piece barrel. So there is a slight burring line going to be running right down the middle of this. But actually, that's not going to take too much up. The muzzle brake itself is in two parts. Um, as you can see on this one and this one because they be glued together. But again, all the actual compartment areas, very nice, clean, very sharply molded. And these small items, like you say, we've got a brain gun down on here. Uh, and some of the other smaller items are beautifully molded, very clean, very crisp. And again, on the blind side, it's really nice to see Tamiya's uh, ejector pins are almost flush. Very, very nicely done, very subdued. I'm quite a um, you know, let's face it, I have mentioned about their ejector pins in the past, but I have to say we're liking those because they're very flush. So they're not pronounced or sticking up or and they don't seem to be in the way anywhere at all. Okay, as we've got it here, we have a little bit of rope. We've got a couple of poly caps. So we've got some rope here for the towing eye. It looks pretty good actually. It's quite a nice actual rope. It's probably the best bit of rope I've seen in a while. Okay, we've actually got some poly caps. So we've got the small ones. And we've got the larger ones as well. And whilst we're just here doing small parts, as you can see, we've got some periscopes and headlights and things like that for the lights. All right, but we know they're going to be good, so we won't bother opening those. Okay, so we've got a match pair of sprues down in here. So down on this one, um, on sprue A, this is obviously your running gear, uh, the bogies uh, and the tracks and everything else. And as you can see, some nice, clean, sharp details in all of these. The track's looking very nicely done, very clean. Again, beautiful work. This is actually fantastic detail. This bolt detail around here on the bogey system, very, very nice. We've got a mixture of raised and recessed details right the way through, as you would expect. The return rollers, things like that. Nice, clean attention to detail right the way over the entire thing. Okay, and then again, we don't have any ejector pins on the blind side of the actual track system itself, so no problem with that. Okay, and then obviously again very clean sharp details so last up we've got just the bag down in here again another match pair of sprues so we've got more of the actual road wheels things like that as you can see some of the smaller items right the way through and the shelves themselves very nice done but the road wheels molded in one but again the bolt detail on those is absolutely beautifully done very sharp very clean okay and then working our way up there, we've got some of the actual uh, grills. And then down here at the top, you can probably catch in the light, we've actually got the shells. Nice, so we've got a couple with shells, a couple empties, and then some of the items. And again, looks like we've got a Sten gun down on there. And all those little items. Beautifully done. Very, very nice. Decals, we know they'll be ta standard Tamiya, so they'll be a little bit thick. But they'll be perfectly adequate on armour with no problems at all with those. And there we have it. Another great release by Tammy, you have to say. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this kit a long time. There did seem to be a delay getting it into the UK and everything else. And I know for a fact from PM Models' point of view, people are asking for us to get them in. We have got them in stock now if you want to grab yourself one of these. But I have to say, it is typical Tamiya. Beautifully done. One of the nice things it looks like now is their ejector pins are almost flush, which seems to be a bit of a first. Having just worked on their Mosquito, um, I was a little bit of critical, shall we say, of their ejector pin marks. But I have to say, it does look like they've raised the bar a little bit with that one. But Tamiya, again, producing an absolute fabulous kit. And if you're an armor buff, it's an absolute must. <laughs>